Now in this question number 31, the changes in the GnRH pulse frequency in females is controlled by circulating levels of. Now if we see during the menstrual cycle, there is positive feedback by estrogen towards ovulation and after ovulation when corpus luteum is formed and both progesterone and estrogen are being released from the corpus luteum that is exerting a negative feedback on hypothalamus and pituitary. So the pulse frequency is regulated by both estrogen and progesterone at different times of the menstrual cycle. So here our answer is option number 2 which is estrogen and progesterone. So let us move to question 32. Now in this question number 32, the antivenom injection which is given after a snake bite, it contains preformed antibodies while polio drops that is oral polio vaccine that is administered into the body would be containing. Now in this oral polio vaccine there is live virus which has been weakened so that it can still stimulate the immune system but it is not pathogenic and such pathogen is called attenuated. So here our first choice itself is attenuated pathogen that is live but weakened pathogen. So the answer is 1. Let us move on to question number 33. Now the photosensitive compound in the human eye, the photosensitive compound is rhodopsin and this rhodopsin is made up of two things that is a protein opsin and with this protein there is associated compound that is an aldehyde retinal and retinal is an aldehyde of retinol that is vitamin A. So in this the option number 3 that is opsin and retinal that is our correct answer. So the correct answer is option number 3 and let us move on to question 34. 